The power behind these youth wellness models is that it is student-led. Students were given a voice and they're comfortable and they told us what they needed. My name is Ron Banner and I'm the superintendent of the Clover Park School District. In a survey that we did of 400 different high school students last spring of 2022, a common thing that we heard was that students wanted to get support from their peers around mental health strategies. Not that they wanted their peers to be counselors or therapists, but they wanted to create a space where they could learn about different topics. So as a result of our comprehensive survey, our team went about executing what we call the Student Wellness Kit, which is a series of seven modules that will allow students to be able to present a wide variety of topics related to mental health and wellness to their peers. Some of those topics include stress, anxiety, self-care, coping skills, social media, building and maintaining healthy relationships, and self-acceptance and awareness. Good afternoon, my name is Jason Whalen. I'm honored to serve as Lakewood's mayor. In this capacity, we work hard as a council to ensure that our community is a vibrant community, one in which every resident can live, work, and thrive. However, we know that coming out of the pandemic, many in our community were not thriving, including many of our youth who suffered uh, much by way of impact as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. They felt very strongly that there needed to be more emphasis and more resources placed on youth health and wellness. As we emphasize student voice in the solution here, we recognize that this is a community effort and has to be a community effort. So we've reached out to the city of Lakewood and used federal dollars, each of us, to partner together for this youth wellness project. We believe that we can turn the needle on youth health and wellness by investing in programs that create impact. And we're excited as a city to be part of the solution. Um, mental health is important to me because I've experienced um, peers and myself pers personally challenges with mental health. And I think it's important for us to learn and um, let other people know about mental health because it's not something that we talk about a lot and I think we need to start talking about it more and spreading awareness. It should be shared more because it's not talked about as much as it should be and I want people to know that like help is there if you need it. Wellness is important because no matter what you're going through you need to be heard and if you're not heard nobody's ever going to understand your situation so I feel like youth and wellness is definitely a good way to get like you really out there and express your feelings. After 27 years in education, and this being the start of my fourth year as a superintendent, I am firmly standing on the foundation that student voice is what will bring us to a place where our instruction is effective, our equity work is effective. What we do has to rely and center on students and we've got to listen to them in order for that to happen.